honeybees are flying insects, and close relatives of wasps and ants. They are found on every continent on Earth, except for Antarctica. Bees of all varieties live on nectar and pollen. Without bees, pollination would be difficult and time-consuming. It is estimated that one-third of the human food supply depends on insect pollination. Bees have a long, straw-like tongue called a proboscis that allows them to drink the nectar from deep within blossoms. Bees are also equipped with two wings, two antennae, and three segmented body parts the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. Honeybees are social insects that live in colonies. The hive population consists of a single queen, a few hundred drones, and thousands of worker bees. Worker bees are the most familiar looking member of the honeybee hive, as they make up about 99% of each colony's population. Worker bees are all female, and they do almost everything for the hive. From birth to her death 45 days later, the worker bee is given different tasks to do during different stages of her life. Worker bees are responsible for everything from feeding the larvae or the baby bees, to tending to the queen, to cleaning the hive, to collecting food, to guarding the colony, to building honeycomb. Drone Bees Male bees are called drones. Their job is to mate with queens from other hives. If they do get the opportunity to mate, they die immediately afterward. If they do not mate, they can live up to 90 days, which is twice as long as a worker bee. Queen Bees There is one queen bee per hive, she is the mother of all the other bees. She is the only fertile member of the colony, and lays about 1,500 eggs a day during spring and summer. Queen bees are distinguished from the other members of the hive by their long abdomens and small wings. Soon after birth, queen bees will go out and have a wild weekend, where they mate with 15 or more drones over a three-day period before retiring to the hive to lay eggs. The queen will not leave the hive again unless the colony swarms, which means looking for a new home. Life in the Hive Contrary to popular belief, honeybees do not build an external structure that contains their hive. They love to live in hollow spaces, whether that means a hollow tree, an empty fallen log, or in a traditional man-made beehive. They do, however, build the inside of their hive. Honeybees make their own special wax, beeswax, which they use to create perfect little hexagons inside their home. These little cubby holes are called cells, and in them, the bees store everything from eggs, to pollen, to honey. With such a large population all working together, some great communication skills are needed. Bees do their talking in two ways, by scent and by dancing. When a honeybee is warning her sisters about an intruder, or if all the ladies in the hive are particularly happy, honeybees have the ability to release a special hormonal scent called pheromones. The bees can detect these scents and interpret their message. A happy bee pheromone smells suspiciously like lemons, and a warning smell has a banana-like scent. When a forager bee needs to alert her sisters as to where a nectar source is, dancing comes in handy. She does special turns and wiggles to show where she found the food, essentially drawing a map. We hope you liked this video. Stay tuned for more videos at Luby Lou. Do let us know what you like and dislike in this video in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe to encourage us to do more. Thanks for watching.